And anti-vaccine posts and videos are no longer allowed on YouTube. The company banning any video that claims that commonly used vaccines approved by health authorities are ineffective or dangerous. YouTube already blocked videos that made those claims about COVID vaccines. Meantime, vaccination rates have slowed. 56% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated compared with 71% in Canada and 67% in the U.K. President Biden says social media companies were partially responsible for spreading misinformation about the vaccines and need to do more to address the issue. Joining us tonight is Dr. Timothy Quinn. He is a Mississippi family doctor who had some of his own posts taken down from YouTube. Thanks for joining us tonight. A little bit different tonight. You've been a pretty active voice in repelling disinformation surrounding vaccines, including on our air. And we've talked to you about how you're combating vaccine hesitancy in your own community. So what happened here? Well, basically, YouTube, they suspended our account. And initially, I panicked. I was so worried. But luckily, I have a great team, including my wife. And they, they calmed me down and they explained that YouTube, like the other social media giants, they have algorithms. And one of the algorithms is trigger word detection. That's what they termed it. And basically, what it does is it identifies different keywords. And, and it, it's, it, it evaluates millions of uh, videos that are uploaded every single day. And because our YouTube account has so many of those keywords, because we have hundreds of videos, news interviews, where we educate about vaccinations, coronavirus, which are those keywords, we were suspended. And, and, and basically, they gave us the option for a review, which we were reviewed, and we were reinstated. So this is really a good thing because it demonstrates YouTube's dedication to just being socially responsible. So you don't know if there was a specific post in question. You think it was just because you had so much uh, COVID-related material, right? That is correct. I mean, they didn't identify one specific post, but on our YouTube page, we have, as I said, hundreds of videos. We work with the local news, WJTV, one of your affiliates right here in Mississippi, and we go on at least two to four days a week, and we just provide education about coronavirus. And, and basically, we post these videos on our social media, including our YouTube, because this is a great platform that we can just continue to put good science, data, fact-based information out to the community. Yeah, this is not an interview I expected to have with you. Uh, so you, you do fundamentally agree with YouTube's campaign of removing disinformation, even though it's flawed and it uses algorithms and it targeted you. Most definitely. I mean, I, I look at it like when I go to the airport, I've traveled recently and I got there early like I was supposed to because the screener, she stopped me as they should. And she told me that, you know, I had to go through the screening and they stopped me and I had to do additional screening. And she said, Dr. Quinn, you take care of my, my grandmother, my auntie. I know you're not a terrorist, but we have to look out for the safety of everyone. And I understood. I mean, you have to think about it. Somebody in the world can be watching one of these videos with misinformation. I mean, information that I've seen where somebody will get on and make claims that the, the vaccine will kill you or you can't have children or just all type of information that has no scientific basis. And, and that same person might make a decision not to get vaccinated. Later, this person can and have contracted coronavirus in many cases, end up getting hospitalized, hospitalized and losing their life. And had they have gotten vaccinated, had they have not gotten that bad information that, you know, pretty much made them or persuaded them to not get vaccinated, their life could have been saved. So if I have to get inconvenienced, that's OK, because at the end, we just want to save lives. And I know you you interact with those patients every day. Thank you for all you do and, and for being on our show tonight. Hey, thank you for having me.